So make you know who back America to your mama where you can't even stick. Crosses. Error. Error. Yes, auntie. Come go and shot for me. Yes, auntie. Yeah. Take this. But me two tin aside in and a bread. Yes, auntie. I hate sardines. So go back on your mama in America and you have the steak. Crosses. Let's pray. Let's pray. Almighty, we give thanks that Errol Spence survived the car wreck and that he is here at this very moment for a reason. I know that Errol Sexuals said that he survived the car accident, he survived the retina, and that he's here for a reason to be undisputed. But those Wakanda niggas was wrong, Almighty. Oh, mighty, they was all wrong, right? So let's pray that he made it through everything physically and for the proof in the pudding that the accident has nothing to do with this, that he beat Danny Garcia, hallelujah, he beat Ugas, hallelujah, and now he is here to get an ass whipping for the very first time, his O got to go. And Almighty, I know they're trying to bring up the accident. I'm looking at videos about neurological damage and this and that. But these videos are smoke screens. I rebuke you in the name of the Almighty to just back off. Just back up. I rebuke you, Satan. I just rebuke you. And Almighty, they're trying their best to make it look like this man has problems, neurological problems from the injury. But Almighty, you prove us. You put the, 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 the proof in the pudding that he beat Ugas. He was good. And he beat uh, Danny Garcia. He just can't beat nobody that's slick like Terrence Crawford. But he's willing and able. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, Almighty, for letting him survive that car accident. Let's pray and let's say thank you. Amen. Now let's get to work. So you see, Errol Spence fans. Oh, I'm sorry, Errol Sexuals, not Errol Spence, Errol Spence fans. Because it's usually the Errol Sexuals that come up with all these narratives that, you know, uh, the, the concrete couldn't kill him, you know. He, he healed fast and he's Wolverine and all this shit and, and, and he's here for a reason. Yeah, the reason was to get his ass whipped from Terrence Crawford. That was the reason why um, um, the Almighty made him survive through this whole situation. So this situation here can show you the truth, the real truth with Terrence Crawford. Because everybody was doubting him. Everybody was slandering him. All these channels. I ain't with them yet. Because you know what Thanos says. Go for the head first. And that's where I'm going. Straight for the head. Pause. Earl Spence. We're going to go at you. Because you're the, the main culprit to the to the madness. With these subscribers. I mean these channels. And these subscribers. Or uh, with these big channels. And all these. These um, uh, fucking subscribers. And shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're the one that was pushing this propaganda. Right? He's bigger, um, he hits more, he's strong, all this bullshit. And a lot of you casuals and y'all don't really want, y'all made bets. Y'all, hell, I made, I made some money. I, I went to go collect. I went to go collect. Um, so, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. I don't usually make bets and stuff. I don't gamble. But this was a short one. It was a short one. Just like I said, um, Crawford was playing with his food. This didn't have to go all the way to ninth round, man. And like I said, it could have it could have ended fifth round, fifth round. I say it, the farther it will go is the seventh round, and look what happened in the seventh round, um, two KOs. All right, so that was my that was my prediction. Um, but 
he could have got him out earlier than that. I feel like he was carrying him. But in my heart, how many people do you know that said it was going to be early? That was my last video. Early prediction. Fifth, six, no later than seven. I was surprised he got, I gave Earl the benefit of doubt going all the way to saying seven. But I, I was losing my voice at round two. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, everything happened for a reason. I know, you know, everybody say, yo, he, he got through this car wreck. He beat Danny, beat Ugas. Nothing's wrong with him. He's good. All of a sudden now, something wrong with him, right? When, it's time, when after Crawford put a bust down on this nigga's ass, right? All right. Yeah, whatever. Keep the excuses going. Keep the excuses going. So, like I said, man, I'm glad that um, everything... Because I visualized victory and I didn't feel no butterflies in my stomach. But Crawford said, you know, you know, he's so humble with his, man. Because I'm telling you right now, these fucking Wakanda ninjas, if it was the other way around, because Derek James was coming out of his face a lot. Um, Arrow was coming out of his face talking about, yeah, I always going to get out of line. So you better, you ain't going to beat me. I ain't one of your child. Yeah, you going to take your belt off and do what? Yeah, all right. Well, we see that he ain't beat you like his child, but he beat you like... Yeah, he beat you hard, bro. Yeah, what's up, bro? He beat you. He beat your ass terribly something. Terribly. He lumped your shit up. He he lumped your shit up. So, I'm glad it went the way it went. And I knew it was. I wasn't feeling no kind of way. And, you know, like I said, we got to start with the head first. And that's Arrow. And, yeah, I know most of these channels. And we and I get to the channels. We ain't, get, we ain't there yet. Um, But this nigga... At the press conference, I'm going to say, I'm going to beat him like Wakanda. I mean, I'm sorry, not Wakanda. Uh, Kuta Kente. Sorry, you know, I get them, these niggas mixed up. Kuta Kente. But before this nigga was saying that, you know, channels is calling him the main channel, best fight the best, which we can't find him right now. Where is he? This, yo, Rebel Life. Yo, let me, let me, yo, Rebel Life. Let me, go subscribe to Rebel Life. Let me just show you the picture because sometimes my words don't come out my mouth right. And you'd be like, what do you say, Wabo? Rabbi, rebel, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I can't pronounce shit. I'm not that good at, of, of, you know, just shut the fuck up and show the... the, the yeah, rebel, so go subscribe to Rebel. And Rebel, you're an artist, right? Um, I got one of your, 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 your art that you gave me. I got it. I'm going to use it. But I got an idea, Rebel. Um, if we don't hear from Best Fight the Best today, tomorrow... Um, come up with a missing thumbnail or a wanted thumbnail. Hey, talk to me. Just tell me which one you want me to use. But you're the artist, so I'm waiting for you to come out for the, the wanted or the missing. If you do the wanted, I'll do the missing. I know you probably do the, the milk cart and put this nigga's face and say missing, right? I, I can do the wanted and put um, a, 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 a reward and some shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you're the artist, man. So I, I hope that you would do that, man. Ideas, brothers, we could flow. If I can't do it as good as you, you got it, man. And ideas, we 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 work like that over here, on this on this side of family, right? You know what I'm saying. So I'm not gonna get into those um, channels yet, because when I do, if you look at my history, I go in really hard at these motherfucking Wakandas. I do. But Arrow, you started with this Kuta Kente shit. I've been, I don't know what it is. I think y'all let's have a problem with this man's complexion, coffee complexion, that he's dark skin or something. I really don't know. But that's that's terribly wrong, bro. That That's some shit that's wrong because I don't know where this uh, Kunta Kente and this fucking top-ranked Toby and calling him Toby and, uh, and, and and calling him all these names. And, yo, I, I, y'all have been slandering him and his family. And it's up to us. Right? To get the job done. And we've been going back and forth with this fight for five years. And there's no expiration date on um, going in on these Wakandas. There's no expiration date. So before I get back to them niggas, um, yeah, so Arrow, you, you got fucked up. You got fucked up big time. And, you know, like I said, it was the re reverse way around. Y'all niggas will act like niggas. Y'all just act like fucking niggas. Um, no respect. I remember what happened when you and Sean Porter at the post fight and y'all was sitting down. You ain't humble, nigga. Um, the car wreck didn't make you humble. 
The eye retina didn't make it. You can't fool me, nigga. But that ass whipping. And still you hard-headed like you going forward. Because you was talking about you're going to activate something. You activating what? Like the Wonder Twins, nigga. You ain't activating shit, nigga. And if you do, hey, good luck. Because like I said, Crawford said, yo, man, I'm tired of 147. I was planning to move up anyway um, to fight Charlo. And if that's the case, you could be my tune-up fight. You could be my tune-up fight. Because this is this is what it looked like. A sparring match. That's what the fuck it looked like. Um, uh, I just don't understand how this man beat your ass. Like, you wasn't even competitive to me, yo. I mean, all the other fights that, yeah, that, that, that Crawford had, what's more, it was, yo, we, we all keep saying it, but it's just, it was more competition, man. It was more competition. Who have he fought? Who's Ricky Burns? Who's in Dongo? And that's what I'm talking about. These Wakandas in America, man. Okay? There's black people and there's niggas. And like Chris Rock say, we are going to fucking civil war with these niggas, man. Okay? Uh, niggas, they have, they don't watch people. You know, you know, that's why I say I could go in as much as I want. Yeah, These niggas on these uh, Wakanda channels, they, they always claim that they don't watch us. So don't watch us. Right? And if you pretend it like you're not watching us and you are watching us, you're a bitch ass nigga. Just like I say, Errol Spence said, I am a man and I'm not making excuses for myself. But then you go around and make excuses for a man that's not making excuses for himself. How do you how do you make this shit work, my nigga? Tell me how you make this shit work. Because you want to be wrong and strong in your pride. It's not about Errol. With these channels, these channels is about them. And they've, they've been going five years with the same bullshit over and over again. And now that they're wrong, they're trying to find, they trying to find ways, man. And for me, I, I'm going to show you examples. Yeah. I'm going to show you examples. Ain't no expiration date on this shit. This shit could go on for five years. But we got to show that you played out like um, Kwame Polka Dots, as I quote from Biggie Smalls. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to show that. When we go to Boxing Ego, when you go to these channels, they got all these big numbers and shit, and they're fucking philosopher. You a philosopher? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm a philosopher, right? And they got all the fucking answers, and they know every fucking thing, and you a fucking cult member. You a cult member. A cult. A cult member. Get it right. A cult member. Because you know them niggas are wrong and strong, and you still there, right? I mean, I ain't wasting my time talking about these... <laughs> Wasting my time on a channel that I know that they're full of shit, man. Right? And the only reason I do go to these channels is because I know they're going to say something that I'm going to be able to use as an example. So, I, hey, I do go there and I, and I promote them too. Hey, go subscribe to the bitch ass nigga. No, I'm not coming up, baby. Um, Go subscribe to those bitch ass niggas. It's okay. But my mission is to go over there and show you that the example of how uh, of, of sissifying they are and how kitty they are and how, you know, like I said, they're ignorant. And ignorance, they don't go to look at our channels because those channels like us will make them mad. They, they, they have mental retardation. They, they can't get over themselves. So they will say that they ain't watching us, but they know they're watching us. But guess what? You don't have to watch us, my dude. You don't have to watch us. We want the casuals and the other boxes, your subscribers, that might have a chance of changing into an African-American and not a fucking nigga. You know what I'm saying? They might have that chance. We're trying to pull them over on this side, over there, so, over here, so. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and and everybody change every 10 years or every five years. People change, either through actions or depression or uh, an example. Yes, an example. And that's what I'm saying. I ain't going to do examples like this forever. <laughs> so, Errol Spence, um, you're not humble enough. And you can even see it in his fighting. Like, this nigga kept coming forward. Even though he getting, he's, getting, he's getting tapped up. This nigga still keep coming forward. But that's all he know how to do. Can't fight off the back foot. Can't get his head off the line. Or he relies on that jab. And then guess what? Someone that has a stronger jab beat you to it with a 74-inch le length. And you got 72. And he just know his range. And then these these Wakandas are getting mad because, you know, they coming up. With, oh, he didn't he didn't switch. He didn't switch. So what the fucking dude didn't? Yo, Crawford didn't have to switch. He did what he had to do. 
to get the job done. Well, I didn't see him switch. Uh, he should have switched. Why well, he didn't start orthodox? Yo, you're not Crawford. Crawford said this is the plan. He have coaches. He have a team. He got a team for inside game, outside game, nutritionist. He got the whole team, yo. Just like, <laughs> yo, I, I I got so much to say that I'm just, you know what, <sighs> Rebel Life. I, if you hear me, I hope you make the missing or the, the wanted picture because it's been like three days. This nigga ain't come out with a live or a video. And I'm checking because I'm a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I'm checking. I don't want to hear this shit because I really want to hear how you're going to get away with this shit. I really want to know how you're going to get out of this. First, he said, I only want the best fight the best and I don't talk about the outcome. So, so far, he's doing the right thing not talking about the outcome. But this is the kind of nigga and that's why I say, bet your channel. Because these niggas always find a way to slip through the cracks and make it look like they told you something. And I'm going to tell you one thing I don't want to hear for none of these motherfucking aerosexuals. Don't tell me. Let me explain it the right way. Okay, how you doing? Don't tell me what Crawford was going to do to Spence if Spence didn't do this and Spence didn't do that. I don't want to hear what you think what Crawford was going to do. And say, I told you that Crawford was going to do this and Crawford was going to do that if Spence didn't do this. No, you keep your funky ass over there with Spence and, 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 and explain what Spence didn't do. Don't worry about what Crawford, because that's just an illusion to say, I told you so. And, a lot, and I, I'm going to show you a fucking video in the future of a motherfucker that's doing that shit. All right? And that's why I say, Sip your fucking month for one month. You could talk about any other boxers, but you can't be part of history when it comes to Arrow and Arrow and Crawford. You can't. And while you can't be a part of history, niggas like with me, like me, Rebel, and the rest of the Wolf Pack or what? Yo, Ella, all of them. Bruce Vane, come on. Real Combat Sports, come on, come on. We could, I could go all, a long line right now. We could go in on y'all niggas. We could come up on your channel and say you was wrong all the time. But you can't say shit. You just can't say shit. So, aerosexuals just back the fuck up. And when it comes to Errol Spence right now, you got your ass whipped. I got no remorse. I don't give a fuck. I don't care because I know what kind of person your fucking is, ass is. You're looking passive and shit, but you're very fucking aggressive under that passive, um, big eye, uh, slow bullshit. So you're going to get what you deserve. And if you want to go back to, if you want to go to 154 to be a tune up for Crawford, fine. Bring that fucking noise. Bring that fucking noise. But time will tell because as time goes on, we'll see after you heal. We'll see where your mind really going to be at. All right, yo, I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here for you to read between the line. And shit's about to get real funky up in this bitch now. Yeah, yeah, because we ain't letting these fucking... Yo, yo, yo. All right, you know what? There's another video to be made. You know what? Coach, coach, coach Malachi. Read, read these niggas down that we need to get we need to get funky on. We need to get funky on these niggas. So t t tell, the, tell, tell my subscribers... Who not to fuck with. And go on their, go on their channel and, and, and keep harassing these niggas. Keep harassing them. And the more we harass them, the more they, they go down. And the more we go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Last Charleston White was... Nah, nigga. Crawford beat Spence like a slave on a slave plantation. Remember when the LDBC called Crawford top ranked Toby? From the Alphabet Boy Hate Group? Y'all remember that? The entire LDBC. All of them. Fred Bombshot Conversations, I'm all right with you, but I got to call it the way I say it. Mean you all right now. Blue Blood Sports TV, I'm all right with the good brother Blue. Ellie, suck a nigga nuts at. You already know what time that is. Boy, checked him last night. Fag Nun, I was looking at his live today. Fag Nun like he was about to cry. He, he did a show saying he was eating crow. He admitted he was wrong. I give him that. He, but he still got that hatred for blood in his heart. Boss and she go, still high behind them dark glasses, huh? Mr. I hope to be gay. Better known as I hope to be gay. Where that whole nigga at? He did all that ass kissing and tried to get back in the Aerosmith camp. And guess what? It still didn't work. True, true, true. Doodle -doo Brown, he probably rolling around in a wheelchair somewhere. I want y'all to do that like the that, 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 uh, debate series. Get knocked, he said, get knocked out 86. Get knocked out 86. Where you at, boy? Hi, yellow nigga from um, Dallas, Texas. Oh, nigga. Ho money. Better known as H money, remember Ho money? I got shooters, homie. Come to Memphis, come to Memphis. That whole ass nigga there. 
Go ahead, friend. Better know this BFTV. I told you I'm saying the names today. Where you at, fuck boy? Manager Farty? I don't even know who that nigga is. Somebody turn me on him. I, I, don't, I don't like the nigga anyways. Fuck him. ETB? Better know everything, bossy. I don't like you either. You the fuck boy too. Chump side? Can't forget about chump side. You's a real bitch. And Jabba the Hood, aka Mr. 7 A Sports TV, aka I'm 15 months pregnant, Sports TV. And a host of other blood haters have been pushing the I hate Terrence Crawford narrative for years now. And I will not let you guys forget this. Although I am all right with Fred Barbershop Conversations and Blue Blood Sports TV, I'm all right with those guys. But I have to tell the truth. They need to be held accountable for their sins of the past. You guys were a part of the blood smear campaign for years. This is the truth. They was a part of the blood smear campaign for years. Let's be honest. Since we, since we put it all on the table, let's put it all on the table. Or look like we might have over a thousand here today. The BBC tried to blackball Terrence Crawford for years. They had mainstream media outlets put out hit pieces against Bud that are discrediting all of his accomplishments. They said things like, he hasn't fucked nobody. He's overrated. He's shitty. He can't take a punch. He's too old. He's too small. They said all those things, right? We heard cliches like, we smoking on Bud. Ain't that what else been said? Nigga talking about something, we gonna, I feel sorry for Errol. Feel sorry for the nigga for what? They was the same nigga that said, um, we smoking on Bud. North Omaha took it personal. Yeah, yeah. My dog's got to eat, man. My dog's got to eat, and there's a lot of plenty of food on the plate. Yes, star. There's plenty of food. Yard style. Right, right, Errol? Yard style. There's them, them, them dogs got to eat. If y'all didn't know where that clip came from, if anybody can remember, that's Top Shotters. That's Shotters, yo. Just in case, man. And I saw, I said, yo, this shit remind me of Errol for some reason. <sighs> I hate sardines. <laughs> I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here for you to re read between the lines. It's not what they say. It's what they're not saying. And hey, um, we here and we're not going to stop. We got our heel. We got our elbow. Yo, we got everything on y'all niggas' neck. And it ain't stopping. And, and guess what? I know y'all be like, y'all like to use so-and-so clips to get subscribers. Hey, it is what it is, man. Because y'all not doing your job right over there, man. Y'all doing propaganda and lying. I, I already knew what I, I was going to do in the future when I first started. I knew how this was going to work. Because you always need a nigga to give you an example. And y'all niggas over there, y'all Wakanda's a perfect example, man. Perfect example. Y'all, be gone.